Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Jennifer Marie where I teach you how to become a work from home freelancer. So in a lot of my tutorials I talk about video editing and different tech tips and today I want to show you an awesome all-in-one software that you can use to convert any video file. Let's say you have some old video footage in .mov or .mkv and you need to convert this to mp4 or to a different video file format. You can do that so fast using this tool. Not only can you convert video and audio files to and from over a thousand formats, but you can also trim and merge files, remove background noise, and even add and embed your own subtitles. There is also an AI video enhancer tool to automatically enhance your videos and improve quality, and a scene detection tool that automatically detects video transitions in your videos and splits them into clips. You can skip ahead in this video to the chapter you are most interested in. Okay, so the tool we're going to use is called Wondershare UniConverter. And this is the interface here. You can see it's really simple. It is a converter, it's a downloader, a compressor, and so much more. So the first thing I want to show you is how to convert a file. Just click here on Converter, and you're going to add or drag your files here to start the conversion. You can also just click on it to upload a file. So for example, I have a very precious video to me that is an MPG file from back in 2012. My grandparents uh, sent me a video message and they're no longer with us. So this is a file I want to save and keep and convert to MP4 so I can share it. So to convert this file from MPG to a standard format like MP4, over here, you can see it automatically has MP4. If you want to make any adjustments, you can click here on choose format, then you can click on video and you can choose whatever file format you want to convert it into. You can also choose if you want to convert it to 4K or HD or standard. I'm just going to keep it so it's the same as the source. I just want to change the file extension so it's now MP4. And all you have to do is click convert. And just like that, so fast it converted the file. So to view your converted file, just click here on open file location. And you can see that my file has now been converted to MP4 and it's converted both the audio and the video. So it's the exact same, just a different file format. Now with this, you can also batch convert. So I could click add files and all of these files here are MPG files. And let's say I want to convert all of them into MP4. I can just click all of them, click open. And I have all these old, very precious videos to me that I can instantly convert and I can choose to convert them one at a time and adjust individual settings for each or just click start all to convert all of the videos. And that took about 15 seconds or less to convert all of these different videos. So I want to start fresh and show you some other things you can do within this software. I'm going to click here on delete all and just remove all of these items from my list. So I'm going to show you another demo. I have this very old video over 10 years ago when I was visiting a friend in Halifax and I want to convert this file as well. But let's say I want to make some edits to the file. I can click here on effect and what you can do is see the original video here and the output. So you can adjust the brightness if you want, the contrast. You can also click on auto enhance. You can also add your own filter if you want as well. Here you could click on watermark if you wanted to add your own watermark. You can also click on crop so you could choose to crop it if you were making a DVD for example, or say you wanted to do a portrait style video and then just click OK and then you would go ahead and click convert. And then you can click on open file location and you can see now our video is in portrait size with a little filter. Another thing that's awesome about this tool is you can add your own subtitles. So what we can do, we're going to go back to home and click here on subtitle editor. So now just add the video that you want to add subtitles to. So as a short demo, I have this little video from when I was in my early 20s and you can click here on manual subtitles. If you want to manually add subtitles, you can also import a subtitle file. And what we're going to do is embed these subtitles so they're permanently on the video. What I think is the fastest way is to click here on text to subtitles. And if you already have a transcript of what is being said, you can just paste it here. So I have put on a new line, 
each line that I want to be a subtitle and then click OK. And that is going to automatically add it to the timeline here and it will be synced with the video. So right now the subtitles look like this, but we can adjust that by clicking here on styles. So from here, you can change the font. You can also change the size of the subtitles and the color even. You can also add an outline if you want around the text. Right here, we have a background color that's black, but you can also change the background color or remove it entirely. And I'm going to remove it and I want to add a thicker outline. You can also choose the position of the subtitles as well. And then you want to make sure to click apply to all because of course you want all of the subtitles to have the same style. So I'm going to click yes. So now you can see that it's uniform across the entire video. And then all you have to do is click export. And from here you can choose your file name. So I'm just going to export it as an MP4 with the embedded subtitles and click export. Hello classes. <laughs> this is Halifax. And just like that, that was so fast and you can see our little video now has subtitles. So the last tool I want to show you is one I am so excited to use. This is an AI powered tool. So if we go back to Wondershare Unit Converter Home, what we can do is click here on tools. And you can see we have so many different tools that are available within this software. It's awesome. So if we go to the AI lab, we can click on the scene detection tool and this will automatically detect video transitions and split them into clips. And this is such an awesome tool for video editing. I recently converted some old video footage of my mom's from her childhood. And some of these videos are an hour long with many different scenes throughout the video. So what you can do is add your video here that has many different clips. So this is the video here. You can see it's 48 minutes long. And this is a video with a lot of different splits and little clips over years. So it's going to analyze the file and automatically detect the scenes. So that took around five minutes because it was such a long file. And you can see that this tool detected 191 scenes in this 50 minute long movie. So this is going to make it so much easier for me to edit this very old footage because I can find whatever scene I'm looking for. So you can preview any of the scenes by just clicking on it and it will show you the length of the clip. And then you just have to click on export and it will export all 191 files into the file location that you choose here. So just click export. So it's just going to go through and export all of these different scenes for you. And it's doing this very quickly. So this is just a really great tool, not only for video editing, but a lot of these scenes I want to send to my aunt and I don't want to send her all of them, but maybe just a few clips where she's in it or her sisters are in it. So there are so many different tools available in Wondershare UniConverter. It really is an all-in-one software and it's perfect for people who don't know a lot about video editing or if you just want to do something really quickly. I also recommend you check out all of the different AI tools as well. If you want to try out this software, just click on the link in the description below or in the pinned comment. And you can also try this out for free as well. And if you decide you want to purchase this software, it is so affordable. You can go with a yearly plan if you want, or you can go with the perpetual plan, which is just a one-time fee. So you will have forever access to Uniconverter. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions whatsoever about how to use this software, feel free to ask me in the comment section below and I'll see you all in my next video.